Hello and welcome to another Nick A video. With many units being added to the game, I think it's about time to see how the tier lists are looking like. Please leave a like and a sub and I hope you enjoy the video. So here I am on the Pride Win to actually check the tier list here and usually how Pride Win works, they actually segment the tier list into different ones here. I'm only going to be really reviewing on um, the story high deficit and the story boss since usually with most players they try to push the campaign as much as possible. And usually what they what they consider high deficit here is um, it's basically more than 30% CP, CP deficit from there. I know a lot of people are trying to push it because the more you push campaign, the more resources per hour you get. So and also as well for solo, just a lot of the people are mostly focusing with like union raid, solo raid, and you're really mostly just focusing on killing the boss as fast as possible. So first we'll look at the story high deficit here. You see three different columns, you know, burst one, burst two, burst three, and obviously each Nikkei has their own different burst, you know, besides Red Hood there. But we can just go ahead and just take a look at who is here for the for the triple s first on all three which obviously for burst one is going to be here leader red hood and tia since obviously leader she is very very handy i mean she works for pretty much any content whatsoever except for pvp just the only reason why pvp is in triple s is in case you guys don't know pvp ends extremely quick usually ends like about five seconds sometimes 10 seconds if you're lucky but yeah it ends extremely quick that's why for pvp she is not that strong, but everything else, yeah, she is absolutely fantastic for. Not only that for Red Hood, yeah, she is really, really good too, since with her burst one there, she gives you 77% of attack up, I believe, as her burst one. I'll have to, like, double check later, but yeah, she's extremely damn good for, for her burst one. And obviously, she's a little bit better for her burst three, but yeah, her burst one is fantastic. And obviously, Tia, she's very fantastic too, especially when you hook her up with Naga. Since pretty much they uh, they work, you know, exactly how the bunnies work. Where you know, besides they giving, you know, the, the shielding, they also give uh damage to core up, attack, all that other stuff. That's why the schoolgirls are very handy. And all that looking at Crown here, since she did barely get added to the game. Yeah, Crown is very, very good. She's insanely good. And obviously, since she is a pilgrim, maybe that's one of the reasons why. Because pretty much every single one of her skills helps out the team tremendously. I mean, yeah, I mean, for her, you're gonna want for sure all her skills up to level 10. Obviously, how I said earlier for PvP, yeah, PvP just ends so quick that unfortunately for a lot of these Nikkei's, they require multiple bursts in order to get more of the criteria filled, or maybe in order to have a certain number of shots, you know, fill a criteria. Yeah, those don't do so well in PvP. But other than that, I mean, yeah, every other content, she's very fantastic of. And also, just like I said with Naga, yeah, Naga helped tremendously with Tia there, and only that the whole team, you know, provide, you know, more damage to the cores, more attack up, all that stuff. Yeah, and only that also healing as well. Yeah, so Naga is very fantastic. Also, as well, I mean, Crown and Naga are could also be buddy buddy as well. Basically, every time she gets healed, uh, she gets an attack up to all the team, which pretty much Naga does that with every, I believe, five or six shots. So, yeah, so Naga is very, very helpful, helpful for Crown here. And looking for burst three here, obviously, you know, we have a lot of the staples here, which, you know, obviously the newest one being added was Red Hood. Or, yeah, Alice, Scarlet, Modernia. Yeah, for a long time, they've been, you know, the top dogs in the game. Which I think actually Red Hood might edge out them a little bit more. But um, yeah, and you have any of these three, they're absolutely, they're, man, they're killers, no problem. Especially with Alice. I mean, the only problem with Alice is you really need to get, get her heavily invested. So having her skills really up. And not only, not only her skills, also her, she needs a lot of really good armor. So you need to get overload armor and have a lot of good rolls in order to really make her shine. Because without them, yeah, she doesn't really seem that good. But once you start giving her a lot of like upgrades, yeah, she, she's absolutely amazing. Also with Majority and Scarlet, I mean, yeah, they, they're they're good right out of the gate, but obviously give them overloaded gear. Yeah, they become even more amazing, especially with Majority here once you start giving her more max ammo rolls. Man, yeah, she never stops shooting. Same one with Scarlet, give her more attack and more uh, max ammo rolls. Yeah, she it goes from having a very small ammo clip to a very large ammo clip very, very fast. Obviously with Red Hood, I mean, no matter where you put her at, she's extremely good, which obviously you either want to burst with one, do her burst one or burst three. Most people use a burst three. Since the burst three is pretty much exactly like Alice's, but more more better. Where pretty much she just not only does she actually pierce everything, she actually has this little aura that hits the units around the shot as well. But yeah, she's extremely useful. Um, yeah, all of these are extremely useful for any content. So even if you're having trouble with anything, I would yeah, the any anybody see here on the triple S, you'll have no problem beating a majority of the content there. Let's go ahead and move on to double S here, which of course you know D Killer Wife. She's one of the newest ones added. The, one of the one of the main reasons why is because she's actually has this very unique kit which besides her giving a burst cooldown she also depending on where she aims at she's gonna she's actually gonna do more damage to either the body of the enemy or if not the parts of the enemy so yeah she has this very very unique thing that um i, th I don't think a lot of units actually provide i mean dorothy obviously she's a pilgrim 
And you know, and besides being a pilgrim, I mean, she does have the burst cooldown. She has, she could also brand an enemy. She could also like do distributed damage. Yeah, she's really good as well. Also, Rapunzel is very good as well. It just the only downside is she is a 60 second burst. Um, so unfortunately, you you have to have another burst one in the place. But one of the reasons why she's double S as well is because of um, because of Crown here, is that now since uh, Rapunzel heals every single shot whenever she full charges, and since Crown gets a gives a, a whole team buff. Every time she gets healed, that's why she's a little bit up here as well, thanks to uh, Crown there. But even then, Rapunzel is very fantastic. She's an excellent healer. She can revive every single burst. But yeah, the only downside is that she's a 60 seconds on this. And now looking for here for a uh, burst two, we're looking at Blanc here, since Blanc is a very, very fantastic unit. I know pretty much the bunnies themselves here with Noir as well, since pretty much uh, they provide healing, attack up, indomitability, which pretty much what that does, it pretty much makes the uh, Nikkei with the lowest health not die. And that's every single burst. So yeah, Blanc is absolutely fantastic as well with Noir. So as soon as we're looking here for burst threes, but Noir, as soon as you have another unit um, from the same squad, in this case, it's only Blanc. Eventually we'll get Rouge. Eventually we'll get that. So then that way you could have, you don't have to use Blanc every single time. Um, Cause that way it's gonna reduce uh, Blanc's cooldown from 60 to 20. If you have another unit from the same squad there, that's why, um, yeah, that's why you pretty much want to team them up all the time. Also, obviously we'd have here Scarbs, you know, since Scarbs does have that um, every, whenever she bursts, she does every two or three hits. Pretty much is going to be doing this AoE attack on the third hit. On the second hit, I think it only does uh, this very large damage to a single enemy there. Obviously, Privity, she's still really good, guys. Privity, I mean, she stuns everybody, which it helps tremendously in the campaign. Only that with a lot of things, too. Unfortunately, the bosses, you know, like Modernia, Nihilist, all that stuff like that, they don't get too affected by the stun there. And besides being really useful for a stun, also for her PvP is very beneficial as well. I mean, her skill kit in PvP helps tremendously, yeah, because this will give you a little bit more time to live. Yeah, so since Privity, you know, is very effective with her with her burst skill, not only that, it's very effective also in PvP. It helps you live a little bit longer there. I mean, Maxwell is also very, very helpful in a lot of the content as well. N not too much in the PvE content, but pretty much what she does is, especially if you hook her up with uh, with the schoolgirls, since it give more damage to the core, Maxwell could just go ahead and just charge up. And just immediately kill the core there, no problem. She's a very damn good unit. And all that she gives, I believe, um, attack up and all this other stuff for other units as well. Amelia, I mean, she's one of the collab units that got recently added. Uh, one of the reasons why she's here is that she's actually pretty good. Even though her burst lasts a very long time to charge. Uh, what, one of the plus side that she actually has, if you look at PvP, it's a triple S. The reason why it's triple S is because if you actually team her up with Noah, since so Noah actually puts a shield up for Amelia, where, you know, where pretty much the whole team cannot be attacked. That'll give enough time for Amelia to actually charge up her shot and all that as well. If the other team has a Noah as well, and you guys both basically both burst at the exact same time, what's going to happen is pretty much as soon as Noah's shield goes down, Amelia goes ahead and immediately unleashes her burst and that kills the whole team right away. So that's another way you could actually do it too. But um, yeah, you have to pretty much build up a lot of these units, guys, in order to actually make them really, really good. Since by default, um, they're not the best by default. Okay, let me just go a little bit more down here for the S ranking here. Which obviously for burst one, we're going to have noise and volume and noise. I mean, noise is very, very handy. The only downside, she's a 40 second burst. So you're going to have to go ahead and bring another burst one unit. But you got But the reason why she is actually over here is because of her healing ability. Yeah, not only her healing ability, she actually has this taunt effect that every time she does a full charge shot, she taunts every full charge shot. So she's very helpful for a lot of the bosses, especially like um, for the train, for example. You could go ahead and dodge those green missiles, no problem. And also the healing helps a lot. I mean, she used to be way better back in the day one days. But yeah, they, they pretty much fixed a lot of the bugs. But she's still good even today. She's still amazing. For volume, yeah, volume is really good as well. Um, Her claim to fame is she has a lot of um, burst cooldown reduction. Same, same same way as leader. And all of that, she gives attack up, create up, all this other too. All this other stuff as well. She is really, really damn good. Um, Yeah, so usually whenever you want a burst cooldown reductions, usually whenever you see solar raid and union raid, you almost always see volume on the team. And for burst two here, I mean, for all these units here, obviously for Helm, she was a limited unit only for the summer. She's going to come back, you know, for the next summer, which is going to come back in a couple months there. And some of her claim to fame here is that she's one of the few burst two units that actually has an AOE for her burst. Most burst two units do not have an AOE. It's usually just a single target or, you know, it's a restriction or something like that. But yeah, actually, uh, Summer Helm, yeah, she has an AOE for her burst two. On top of that, she actually has a burst cooldown reduction, a bunch of other stuff too. So she's really amazing. Not only that for Senti, I mean, Senti was there for, um, she was one of the top tier for bursts too for a long time, just because she has amazing burst generation. On top of that, she also, um, she also has this shield that re that get that regenerates like every 10 seconds or so, maybe a little less than 10 seconds. 
yeah every single time so she's extremely useful there uh we have dolly here as well which she has burst um, burst cooldown regeneration too um yeah she's not as useful as she once was but yeah i mean if you need another burst tool um burst cooldown unit dolly would be absolutely fantastic for her there marciana she's one of the more recent units added she's a very damn good healer very very good she actually provides this overhealing effect on every single unit and um every time i believe this last shot mechanic as well that pretty much as soon as she does the last shot um she goes ahead and heals the whole team as well um it's very very good yeah she's a very good unit uh ram is one of the newest units added unfortunately won't come back to the game since she is a collab unit yeah and how ram works is besides actually boosting up some rocket launcher units uh what she also does is whenever she bursts she actually goes ahead and shares her hp healing and how she heals it every time she attacks um she goes ahead and she shares that healing for 10 seconds so um, not only that, she's also a 20 second burst, so she could do this every single burst rotation. So, so she's another alternate um, excellent healer as well. Now looking at here for the burst threes here, obviously we have A2 and Ludmilla, and not only that, Simra and Nice, uh, pretty much they're all limited units here, with A2 being a collab and a Winter Ludmilla and also Summer and Nice being a limited seasonal event. So luckily Ludmilla and Anise are coming back, A2 will not come back, unless Yokotaro like, you know, does another collab with Nikki, which is totally possible. But anyways, um, the reason why A2 is here because she has a very, very excellent explosion radius. I think one of the best in the game. On top of that, she actually does this uh, powered up mode that pretty much gives her faster attack speed, more damage, more everything. She's an extremely powerful unit. Yeah, I mean, she had yeah, one of the best rocket launchers, I think, in the game just because the explosion radius is nuts. It's, it's so it's so good. And for Winter Ludmilla here, um, yeah, for her, she works better when she's attacking the core of the enemy. So pretty much if she is attacking a core of the enemy, what's going to happen is she actually has double damage. For part of her skill kit, what happens is as soon as she hits the enemy, it pretty much, I think after 60 hits, it basically does extra damage. And if you're hitting the core, um, I think for 30 to 60 hits, it does another set of damage there. So she's really damn good for enemies that have cores because, yeah, she does so much damage. Um, yeah, she's really damn good. Also for Summer Anise. Yeah, she was amazing out of the gate. Of course, with Summer Anise, you need somebody like Privity since she had this last shot mechanic. Um, there is other units that can help out too, especially with Crown now, but her buddy buddy at the time was Privity, and yeah, she does so much damage. She pretty much shoots out, she does a shotgun shot and shoots out two missiles every single shot for the duration of her burst, and uh, yeah, pretty much she's like, uh, she's yeah, she's a very damn good unit, so I know a lot of people are going to want to pull on um, on both of these units whenever they come back, especially Summer Anise, because Summer Anise is very damn good. And obviously Snow White. She's also really good as well, but unfortunately for Snow White to really make her excel, you not only do you have she has to have a team specifically for her burst, she has to have a lot of skill investments and also a lot of overload gear investment as well. But as soon as you have her fully kitted out, and also as soon as you have all the Nikkei's required for, for her to excel, she's a very damn good unit. Um, of course, you know, obviously, you know, it's only for her burst that she really excels at. Besides her burst, I mean her think her her kit is okay. Her burst three obviously just outshines everything yeah she she's a very damn good unit but of course you need very high investment you know not only have her skill kit and her armor you also need a very high skill investment for her other teammates as well to really make her shine okay let me go ahead and go um down to the next area here which is going to be a ranking here which you know we have some other units here we have a few uh, seasonal units which would be summer mary and christmas mika there uh, which for Summer Mary here, she's actually a pretty damn good healer. Um, um, the thing is that she needs to have a lot of water units to really excel on it. Yeah, she's a really good um, healer. But yeah, most of her stuff here is mostly going to be revolving around water units, which I don't think there's that many good water units currently. And also for here, for Christmas Mika, her claim to fame here is that for every single burst, she can actually go ahead and take out the debuffs. And she actually provides a little bit more as well for, for the other units, but... Um, yeah, the most of the, the the main thing would be here for removing of the debuff. Yeah, that's like the main main thing here. And then for Miranda, yeah, she's pretty much hooked up with um, with Snow White there, so she actually helps out with a lot of crit damage and all that other stuff too. Um, and also as well, you see her a lot in the uh, Lysion Towers as well. You see her a lot there. And the reason why um, N102, which is Annie, she's uh, one of the very very few uh, SR Nikkei's here on the top rankings. Uh, the reason why is because she's a very damn good supporting Nikkei. Usually before you have leader or any of the top ranking units, you would pretty much want to use N102 because yeah, she provides a lot of attack up to the whole team and a few other stuff too, but the main claim to fame would be the attack up. Yeah, so yeah, she's a very damn good SR unit and that's, a, that's the reason why she's an A ranking here. For Pepper, the reason why she's here is because for um, she has this last shot mechanic and for every time you do the last shot, not only does she increase the healing for the unit, 
she actually heals quite a bit as well. She's a very damn good healer. Um, the only thing is you have to manual pepper. That's the only thing. If you do not manual pepper, then pretty much her usefulness actually goes down. So you actually want to make sure to actually manual pepper. Um, yeah, because if not, then yeah, you, her usefulness won't be that much. For Sakura here, she's actually a pretty good unit. Um, pretty much a lot of people use her right now for the train. Since the train for the Special Interception EX is a wind unit. And what happened with Sakura is that she actually reduces how much uh, damage the wind units do to the team by a tremendous amount. And only that, she increases the damage to them as well. So if you're having trouble with the train and an SIEX, yeah, she's a very damn good unit for that as well. And then here, another SR unit that's up here, which would be Hanis. I'll explain in a second. We have Diesel, Elec, Poli, Quincy, and Rupee. The reason why Anise is up here, you know, obviously it says PvP is double S. The reason why is because she has in, she has a really, really, really good burst generation. Yes, she is a, one of the few SR Nikkis that have amazing burst generation. Um, that's why she's here. You see her a lot in PvP. Unfortunately for normal PvE content, you might want to use someone else instead. But yeah, her claim to fame is her burst generation there. Uh, Diesel here, pretty much what she does. Not only does she actually give more ammo to all the teammates, she actually heals them as well. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it takes a long time for her to actually achieve it. But um, yeah, her her taunting only really comes into effect whenever she bursts. That's the only downside of Diesel there. Uh, for Polly here, I mean, she's really she's really good as well. For every single, I think five or six attacks, she provides attack up to the team. Her purse, her burst provides attack up. Uh, she provides this little shielding as well. One of the downside is uh, she's a 40 second burst. That's one of the downsides. So you need another uh, 40 second or 20 second burst in order to go ahead and compliment Poli there. But she's a really damn good unit as well. And it, and for LA, I mean, she's a really good unit as well. I mean, one of her one of her claims to fame here is that she actually increases uh, distributed damage of like all of every member. So if you have somebody, for example, like Dorothy there, she actually be able to increase the di distributed damage that she happens to do with, with she happens to do with her branding and all of that. For every um, a certain number of attacks, she actually does. This little tiny attack as well and on top of that she actually provides an attack up as well she's pretty good and all of that she looks extremely lovely as well this other one is rupee here too yeah rupee was um there way back in the day one days um yeah she's actually still a pretty good unit um one of her claims to fame here is that for every single attack that she does um she's very similar to to scarlet pretty much back then they used to call her a mini scarlet um yeah mo most people don't even call her that anymore but yeah pretty much what she does she's something she does something very similar to scarlet is after a certain number of her attacks, she basically she actually gets a quite decent number of an attack percentage back to herself. I think it's around 25% and it stacks up like five or six times. So so yeah, she's a very damn good um, uh, attacker unit here. Um, not only that, she actually, I think, helps out iron units as well and a few other things too as well. I think she gives an attack up on her burst as well. Uh, Quincy, yeah, she's one of the free uh, units that we have here in the game. And for Quincy here, um, yeah, I didn't expect her to be this high, actually. I'm actually quite surprised, but pretty much her claims to fame here was that not only does she actually increase her own max HP, what she also does as well, she gives an attack up to two other allies. And also as well, not only give the, the attack up, they give a max HP, and also as well, they give a more uh, critical damage as well. That's what she does. I'm, I'm, I'm actually surprised to see her this high. I didn't expect her to see that high. But anyways, let's go ahead and go to, to the burst three here for A which obviously is going to be 2B, which unfortunately she's never going to come back since she is a collab unit, unless they happen to do a collab again. I mean, you do have Drake, Haran, Helm, um, Small White, which is Snow White, Innocent Days, Kilo, Laplace, and a uh, Maid Privity there. Um, yeah, for 2B here, uh, pretty much how she works, even though she is a defender unit, uh, one of her claims to fame there is that she, um, she all her kit revol revolves around max HP. So for every time, her, she, the more max HP that he happened to give her, the more damage that she, ha she happens to do. And for every burst that she does, she increases her own max HP, which increases her own damage as well. Yeah, so um, um, after a certain amount of time, she does a lot of damage. Oh, not, only that, not only that as well, not only that as well, she also, after a certain number of attacks, she does a little tiny AoE as well. She's really damn good. For Drake here, yeah, Drake, she's actually really good for PvP because uh, not only does she have really good burst generation, um, also as well, after a certain amount, number of attacks, she has this little tiny thunderbolt that comes every now and then. Um, yeah, she has really she has some pretty good burst generation for this unit. That's why I, I believe she's an A rank in here. Haran, yeah, she used to be pretty good before, but obviously as time went on, there's a lot more better units. Um, yeah, one of her claim to fame here is that whenever she does a full charge shot, um, she actually puts this virus into the raptures, and the virus does like it's pretty much you can think of it as a poison effect. And what it also does as well, as soon as that rapture dies, any other raptures around that rapture pretty much spreads the virus as well. And not only that, it could keep respreading over and over. Um, I think the I think it just needs to be buffed 
the aura of that virus since it's actually pretty small. But the, yeah, that was her claim, uh, claim to fame before. And all that also with her AoE is like pretty much instant as well. She has an instant AoE that's um that's that's pretty damn fast. Um yeah, just uh, unfortunately obviously she's not as good as she once was, but she is very helpful still. Uh, for Helm here, yeah, Helm is still really, really damn good. I mean, she's a really good healer. What she does is pretty much she applies a life leech to every single unit, and it's a very strong life leech. On top of that, she gives you an attack up. She also does increase the parts damage to the, the Raptures as well. So yeah, she's a very strong unit too. And for here, obviously, both um, Small White and Kila were giving out for free. Obviously, Small White was giving, during out, during, giving out for free during the one-year anniversary, and Kila was giving out for free uh, right now for the one-and-a-half-year anniversary. Uh, the reason why they're both up here is that um, Small White, she's actually a pretty decent Pilgrim unit. Uh, pretty much, um, not only does she give herself more max ammo, what she also does as well is that every certain number of attacks, she basically throws this volley of missiles. And it's quite, and the duration of the volley is quite long and all of that. It's a, it's a lot of missiles that it shoots out. And as soon as she gets her burst, it shoots out the volleys even faster. So yeah, she actually does a very good wave clear compared to other units, you know, on, on the list. Now for Kilo, the reason why she's here, you know, obviously being SS and P PvP is that because pretty much um, she works mostly on defense there. So whenever she goes ahead and has this shield on her, this nano shield, what happens as well is that she has, if she has that shielding on, um, you know, whenever she does her burst, uh, what happens is that she actually does this very, very strong AOE to the opponents. And all of that as well is that she doesn't have a shield. She goes in, she goes ahead and applies another shield to herself. And all of that, she actually increases how much max um, HP of that shielding is. So yeah, she keeps getting shields upon shields upon shields. And she does more damage on top of those shieldings as well. And then for the other two down here, I mean, Laplace, she's been here for a while. I mean, yeah, she has, um, with her burst, she has this thing called true damage with her laser, where pretty much it's a, it's, um, it pretty much cuts through a lot of the, a lot of the defense of the raptures and all of that. It's really damn good. And also you got to remember too, that the treasure system is also coming up right here to the game as well. So it's going to be coming soon with the treasure system. And yeah, she's a very damn good unit too. And all that, she's really cute. You know, the only thing is you have to make sure to keep buying windows. That's the only thing. For Bay Privity here, yeah, she's one of the few really good Elysian units. That's why she's here. Um, since, yeah, with uh, with her, you know, she's able to do it. Uh, she has an AoE attack. And not only that, she actually gives herself a lot of buff. She gives herself, like, reloading speed, attack up, not only that as well. It's depending on how many pellets she actually lands on the enemy. Uh, she also does even more additional damage to them as well. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons why she's here. But I think it's more because Elysian doesn't have a lot of good units on there. But anyways, let me go ahead and move on to a B here. Which a lot of the B units, I mean, uh, um, uh, for a lot of these units that you see here on the B, um, it's going to be very situational since it's maybe might be used for towers, maybe for certain bosses in SIEX, or maybe for certain team comps. Yeah, so anybody on the B list here that you see, you know, you're going to use them for, you're going to use them for a very specific purpose. Like, for example, Ludmilla, uh, which I know she's, a lot of people don't really think she's that good, but one of the usefulness is because of the train, which pretty much if you team her up with Sakura, it makes the train extremely easy. Yeah, from then on, it's just a DPS race from then on. But unfortunately for that, um, she's not that useful besides that. Yeah, she's only useful for very specific instances. For example, for Moran as well, since for her, um, one of her claims to fame is that for every time she gets her HP reduced to a certain amount, she pretty much gets max HP. And on top of her receiving max HP, she pretty much gets an insta heal. And she does that three times. And only that, she gets like massive defense um, buffs and all that other stuff. So... Yeah, usually you're going to want to do a very specific purpose for Moran. Looking at here, looking like it's going to be for PvP mostly. For Soda here as well, usually um, her claim to fame here is that for every time she shoots, she provides a heal to the allies and a few other stuff as well. Um, yeah, that would really be it for Soda. It would be a very specific purpose for Soda. For Tove, um, she's actually pretty good. I mean, I think honestly she needs a buff. Since, unfortunately, I think what's really dragging her down here would be what the percentage of her procs would be and how long the proc would last. I think if they if they buff if they buff both of those, I think even twice, like they just double the number. I think she would be even higher than um, than even be here because she her kit's pretty good. But yeah, unfortunately, um, she, she yeah, it's a lot of gambling with her kit. Yeah, for that, you have to hope not only does she proc three times that the proc still stays active throughout the whole duration of the battle. Uh, it's a huge headache with Tove, unfortunately. That, that's one of the downsides with Tove here. But if everything does proc and everything does happen to go through, yeah, she provides a lot of benefits to the team. Uh, for, for Rupee here, um, yeah, well, basically she was the first one to uh, to basically um, basically extend the burst chain here. Yeah, she was the very first Nikkei to do that. 
Um, basically, she has a lot of defensive buffs and I believe a few attacking buffs as well. But um, yeah, unfortunately, she's not that useful here. I haven't really seen a big usefulness for Rupee. That's why she's over here at B. And for Yan, I mean, she has very, very little uses since unfortunately, Shift Up um, did um, did not really do her, her burst that well. Pretty much her burst, she has this tornado, but the tornado does. It pretty much sucks up any raptures close to it. And it literally moves them. It forces them to move. Which I wish actually Yan had a more powerful like aura of it because that way it would actually use made her very useful for those uh, King of the Hill like those guard the area type of stages because um, yeah some of them are pretty rough and all you have to do is just move the raptures over and I wish Yan had something a little bit better yeah because you need to be very close with her person in order to get that active. But what A does here is that pretty much she gives like a constant debuff where pretty much every time uh, whenever she enters field whenever she enters a battle she pretty much gives uh, whenever and Nikkei gets a debuff it automatically removes it. And all of that, um, every time, a certain amount of time, um, after a certain amount of time passes, she goes ahead and reapplies that. So pretty much, um, you know, if you're having a lot of debuffs there, aid would be one of the, in the case to go ahead and remove those debuffs there. Um, add me before she was really useful with uh, with Snow White, since she improves a lot of like crit damage, all this other stuff. So that's why she's here before she would be even higher. But thanks to now these other units, I'm um, doing a little bit better, like, you know, mass and all this other stuff. Um, that's why she got here a little bit lower. So she's not as useful as she once was before. For Biscuit, she, I think she's actually a really amazing unit. I don't think a lot of people give her credit, um, uh, give her credit as she as she should get. You know, she pretty much provides. Uh, she's one. Yeah, I think she was the first Nick. She was the first Nikkei to go ahead and do uh, cover rebuild. Yeah, no other Nikkei was doing that at the time. She, she was the very first Nikkei to do that. And depending if the Nikkei is an attacker, defender, or a support, she actually gives. Uh, more you know specific buffs to those units and all of that as well if you actually team her up with privity um she actually has a limited ammo whenever you whenever you team her up with biscuit yeah she literally never runs out of ammo with biscuit i mean with privity um and biscuit on the team i don't know why exactly it does it but yeah she has a limited ammo if you happen to do that for guilty the reason I mean, yeah she is a free unit you get if you get her out of prison the reason why she's here because actually she's a pretty damn good um, burst too she borrows two highest attacking Nikkei's in there. She borrows their attack stat for a certain percentage. Uh, not only that as well. She, she increases the wind buffs for uh, for wind Nikkei's and a few other things too. Yeah, she's a really good burst to Nikkei. I can't believe she was actually for free. For Makima here, yeah, she will never come back. She was part of the Chainsaw Man collab here. Her claim to fame was that uh, for PvP, you could pretty much make stall teams. Where pretty much um, she was the first one to have Indomitability. Where pretty much as soon as she took lethal damage, she did not die for seven seconds. Um, and not only that as well, if you actually put Rapunzel on the team and you actually made Makima revive, pretty much it gave her another re um, Indomitability, pretty much refreshed it. So she, she was actually able to have two different Indomitabilities. On top of that, she also has a Taunt as well. Yeah, she was more useful way, way back, but now she actually, her usefulness has went down. And here is Uni. She did nothing wrong. Uh, yeah, one of her claims to fame here is that not only does she, does she heal with every charge shot, um, she actually gives some other bonuses as well. Uh, before, when there was a bug, she, um, she actually uh, went ahead and um, there's this bug where she actually gave like pretty much infinite ammo to the whole team. But unfortunately, they removed that bug long. They removed that bug a long time ago. So yeah, so unfortunately, her usefulness went down. But she's still a cutie pie there. And then here we have these one here. We have Epinel Guillotine Maiden and Power for the burst three here. And for Guillotine, the reason why she's here, as soon as you go ahead and level up her kit. Pretty much how she works is that lo the lower HP she, she has, yeah, the lower HP she has, the more attack damage she actually gets. Yeah, um, so for every like 1%, she gets like point something, and then like 0.94 at max um, attack up. So yeah, she's a really damn good unit. She's a powerhouse. Um, she's pretty much a glass cannon, Guillotine is. And all of that for every attack she does, a certain amount of attack, she lowers down her, her own HP, which that would that, that's what you want. So yeah, she, she works very similar to how pretty much Scarlet does, but um, yeah, she has an, an insane attack up. Yeah, as soon as you get her very, very low on HP, she, yeah, she's a very damn good unit. Of course, I already said she has a glass cannon. So um, yeah, one little hit and she'll die when she's at that low HP. For Epinel here, I mean, um, um she's, uh, for her kit, pretty much her kit mostly revolves around killing Raptures. And then whenever you kill a Rapture, pretty much boosts her stat as well. So um, yeah, it doesn't work too well for bosses, but only that she also does, she also has an AoE as well. But yeah, that's how majority of her work of her um, kit works there. Okay, for Maiden here, she actually has a taunt every time, um, every like every thirty seconds or so. So she's gonna have this taunt that she actually applies to everyone else. And all that she has, she gives herself a lot of critical damage. Also, as well, if she's like on this status called revenge, you know, after she after after she gets attacked a certain amount of time, she gets to this revenge status that increases her attack even more. 
know that as well she's in that status she basically provides double damage to her burst as well unfortunately she's not as useful compared to you know basically with taunting um she doesn't have any really healing so unfortunately for her um yeah with a lot of the raptures they'll kill her pretty quick there uh, for power i know back then she was basically used as an alice killer since pretty much what happens is she uh, with her burst um she targets the highest attacking um nikki you know um, on the squad there on top of that as well whenever she she fully charges a number of times she gets to, the, to this like bloodlust status that increases her attack and all this other stuff um yeah she wasn't even that useful i think even when she first came out unfortunately there let me just go down here and here's um here's some other units here i won't talk about all these units down here since unfortunately they're already C ranking here, but I'm just going to go ahead and just list them off right now. Which right here we have Cocoa, Emma, um, Exia, Freema, Jackal, Mary, Milk, Pascal, and Ram. I'll talk about a few of the burst ones here, which a few of them would be, for example, Jackal. Yeah, she's extremely useful for PvP. I think she has like one of the best burst gen in the game and all that as well. She has this um, damage distribution, which actually helps with Emma. Actually, if you, if you um, team up Jackal and Emma... Pretty much Emma is able to heal a little bit more often thanks to, yeah, thanks to um, pretty much how it works is that uh, whenever any of the three units that Jackal, her Emma, and somebody else, you know, get hit, uh, pretty much all of them have a 5% chance to proc Emma's healing. So that's why sometimes you see Jackal and Emma team up on PvP there. Cocoa obviously, you know, does debuffing there. Um, Exia has this hacking thing there, which pretty much she does double damage to some of the enemies there. Um, now let me just move on to the burst two here, which you have Arya, Bay, Folk, Wang, Mast, um, Mary, um, Chris is Annie, Nero, Nihilister, Noah, Sin, and Viper. So even though Bay was recently added, um, yeah, she's mostly a defensive Nikki, and pretty much how she works, she distributes the damage whenever she receives. So that's why you see PVP there as a nest. But um, yeah, unfortunately, depending on how the team is set up, sometimes she could kill all your team really fast. Uh, Mass, she mostly gonna be used for like maybe like two B, or if not, technically she could always she could also be used like for the Snow White team, since so she actually does provide crit damage and all that other stuff as well. Uh, for Miracle Annie, she's mostly used for PVP, since not only does she actually revive with her burst, she actually has very excellent burst generation as well. Extremely damn good. Yeah, she's a she's a very good unit as well. Uh, Nero, she's a very good defensive unit where pretty much every time um, she gets more defensive and I believe heals, um, yeah, she gets more buff as well. So yeah, she's a really good unit as well. Noah, I mean, yeah, Noah's extremely useful for PvP. I mean, her shield pretty much lasts for three seconds and nothing could get past that shield. Unfortunately for regular content, it's not so much since she is a 40 second burst too. Nihilister, we got her for free. Yeah, Nihilister, we got for free. Um, she's useful pretty much for PvP. I mean, because she does provide this little extra damage to all the units, but... Yeah, unfortunately, I think her kit needs to be buffed there. Uh, for Sin here, for Sin, we got her absolutely for free. Yeah, which unfortunately for her, she's not the best prisoner there. And Viper, I know she looks extremely cute. One of her claims of fame there is that she cannot be targeted, um, I think, after she gets her burst. But unfortunately, if the, it is an AoE, then she does get targeted as well. And then here for the burst three, we have uh, um, Summer Neon, D, Query, Rappy, Soling, Sugar, Bestie, and Yoha. Yeah, which unfortunately for Summer Neon, even though they did happen above Summer Neon, like when she first came out, she um, she actually had a weaker kit when she first came out. The devs actually buffed her kit, but even with the buff, um, she is still not that useful even today. Uh, for D, for D, she's only useful for a very, very specific instance. And basically with her, she's able actually to give you an insta burst whenever the boss rapture show was, shows up. So, you know, for maybe like Snow White teams or very specific purposes, but yeah, unfortunately for her, she's her, her kit's not that good. For Query, yeah, she's mostly used for PvP, but again, most of her kit's just not that good as well. I mean, Rappy, you know, obviously it's an SR. SR. Um, yeah, even though she doesn't have an AoE as her burst, she only has a single target. It does raise, happen to raise attack up for the team. But yeah, unfortunately her kit's just not that good. Solene, um, yeah, Solene, I know before, way, way back, she, has, she used to have this bug that pretty much what it does, it used to kill your teammates. Yeah, it used to kill your teammates um, whenever you did co-op, so a lot of people would always troll with Solene. But yeah, unfortunately, Soling isn't that useful since like, she does have attack a speed up, but unfortunately, it only affects herself. Sugar, I mean, yeah, a lot of people use Sugar for maybe like Grave Digger and also for PvP since her burst. Yeah, she shoots like a mad woman. Yeah, she gets like an insane um, ammo size. I think like 80% 80, 80 plus on her ammo size and only that she shoots extremely fast. Yeah, so that's why you have her see her in Esther for PvP because uh, if you're able to survive that long and only that and, you know, don't get AoE'd, um, yeah, she's able to kill a lot of the units very, very fast, no problem. 
Uh, Vesti, I still like Vesti. You know, Vesti, I still like her. I mean, because um, she gets um, one of her claims to fame is that she gives the burst timer down. It goes from five seconds. It goes from ten seconds to five seconds. Not only that, every time she bursts, um, if she bur happens to burst three times, she gets her max um power up and stuff like that. She's a pretty good, but unfortunately, you know, she didn't happen to go down. Usually, um, you would team her up with like maybe Isabel and somebody else, and maybe like a burst cooldown reduction unit to go ahead and get like the maximum results there. For Yule Hall, usually Siru, I'm teamed up with Snow White. The reason why is because. With Yulha, every 30 seconds, she gives like this massive uh, critical up there. So that's why they team her up with a Snow White. Because, yeah, because it's just really beneficial. Unfortunately, other than that, um, yeah, she has like this calm and rage status there that increases her stats. Uh, but unfortunately, she's not that useful besides that. And obviously, we I'm just going to round up the D here, which is going to be um, Anchor, Ether, Mika, Neon, uh, Re, and Rosanna. So Re and Rosanna are the only ones that are SSRs. On the deer for burst one there which really we got for free during the very first half anniversary and also again for the one and a half anniversary as well if you chose to pick her for burst two we have belorta delta enwa and menno from the um from the chainsaw man collab uh Le leona novel signal red hood so the reason why you see red hood as burst two is because her burst two mostly is a defensive burst two that's why you're seeing her in d yeah her her burst one and burst three are fantastic unfortunately her burst two even though it does um make this very large taunt on top of that, she pretty much gets this um this uh, life leech as well. So um that's why it's over here because usually her burst two is not that beneficial for a uh, red hood. Usually you do want to do either burst one or burst two there. Uh, burst three, sorry, burst one or burst one or burst three. And then for burst three, we're, we're rounding out for Brid, Crow, Isabel, Julia, Mihara, and Neve, which that one you got free in both of the Christmas events there. Since yeah, unfortunately, with a lot of these units down here, they're just not that good. They need their buffs. Like either they, they need their kits like totally redone or their kits need to be buff buffed or both most of them have to be both but the yeah, majority of them have to i think the kits have to be reworked there and at the end you know pretty much all our units there all right um yeah i didn't realize it was going this long with all the video let me just go in and just quickly talk about the boss solo here since i know pretty much most people do the high deficit in solo just how i mentioned earlier which we'll just uh, take a quick look which pretty much uh for burst one here you're only looking at leader or tia for burst two, you're looking at Crown or Naga. And for burst three, it's pretty much going to be Alice. Uh, pretty much everyone is the same way as the Deficit, but adding Red Hood here as well, since everyone here is amazing that you're seeing there. For the double S here, which is basically alternates for there, you're looking at D Killer Wife and Dorothy. The same thing as the high, as the um, the high Deficit. The only one that got added new up here would be Rem, you know, compared to Blanc here. Since some of the bosses, pretty much, you need a lot of healing for. Since, um, yeah, especially like for Solar Raid and Union Raid, yeah, they hit like a truck. So you basically want a lot of healing while also like pretty much getting um, a lot of buffs to the team. And pretty much for uh, for Burst 3, we're looking at Maxwell Noir, Snow White, and Summer Anise. The reason why for Snow White is here, just like I already told you earlier, with uh, with bosses, yeah, she is absolutely amazing with bosses. Yeah, she does so much damage by herself. Um, yeah, so she's amazing. Also Summer Anise, and obviously some, Summer Anise, yeah, she's... Um, so she's going to be doing like basically double, triple damage to the boss every single shot. So she is really damn good. Also, obviously, Maxwell and Noir. I mean, Maxwell has a charge burst and also Noir providing all the um, all these passives to the whole team as well. And we're looking at S rank here now, which is going to be a noise, Tove, and volume. Just like I mentioned earlier, Tove, she's actually a good unit, but there is just so much gambling you have to do with Tove. Yeah, even though the matches only last three minutes, guys, it's very hard to constantly leave all of her skills up for three minutes yeah i mean i tried it with all the testing and it took a, a many many resets just to have the whole three minutes you know constant um, um constant buffs going around yeah it's, it's very very difficult so i mean if you love gambling which i guess you're playing nick Ace, so i guess i guess you just go ahead and put tove in there obviously noise and volume i mean yeah they provide the healing and the burst cooldown rate generation yeah i don't think they're ever going to leave like the top rankings here and it's looking at burst two here we're looking at um summer helm biscuit dollar marciana and novel uh, the reason novels down here is because she provides a lot of um a lot of debuffs to the bosses yeah so some of the stuff that novel provides is not only does it do defense down for the enemy actually it also does defense the amount of damage taken to the boss as well goes up so yeah she provides a whole bunch of debuff debuffs to the boss she technically also applies a defense up to your team as well but it's not that useful usually she's more useful for the defense um defense down to the enemy and damage taken up to the enemy so yeah she's really useful for bosses and yeah like biscuit i was saying yeah a lot of the bosses um really hammer you down and they take down the cover so she's very useful to rebuild the cover obviously marciana there for the heals 
Dala and um, Summer Helm for the burst for the burst cooldown regeneration. They're both really helpful there. And for burst uh, and for burst three, we're looking at Tubi, Amelia, Helm, Maid, Privity, and Scarlet there. Since um, I, I know for Scarlet, even though she's a really damn good unit, the reason why Scarlet's here is because of her burst is really mostly useful for AOE. There are other really good burst three units to put in their place that do even more damage um, compared to Scarlet. But even that Scarlet's still really good. But yeah, there's other um, there's other better Nikkei's that that are better for bosses than Scarlet there. I mean, obviously, to be Amelia, how we mentioned earlier, yeah, they they pretty much have their own specific kits there that actually enhances their ability as time goes on. Helm for the healing, also not only that with the damage to parts going up, which for a lot of the bosses you need to kill these parts because if not, you um, they they become more problems. Exam for example, Indivilia, if you leave her tail up, um, yeah, it pretty much kills one Nikkei instantly. Uh, for Privity and Maid Privity, I mean, you obviously Privity for the Lash On mechanic, also with some Renice there. And all of that as well. Um, unfortunately, the stunning doesn't really work for Privity since the, bot doesn't, then the boss doesn't really get stunned, but it actually, it pr actually provides a wave clear there. For Maid Privity, you know, she actually provides, since the bosses are so huge, um, you know, all the all the pellets will be landing on the boss. So that's why she's over here on the S ranking there. Going down here for the A, we have um, Summer Mary, Chris is Mika. Miranda, Marad, Rapunzel, Red Hood, and um, Sakura there. The reason why Red Hood is a little bit down because for Burst 1s, you'd rather have a different unit bursting for Burst 1 unless they happen to die. Yeah, you, um, you want to actually use a different Burst 1 than Red Hood since basically there's other units that are, provide a better benefit for the Burst 1 than Red Hood does there. And then for Burst 2 here, we have LA, Guilty, um, Guilty, Leona, Mass, and Poli, which you know I already mentioned earlier, some, all these provide a benefit to the team where Guilty, you know, pretty much he borrows the strongest units so pretty much she powers herself up so yeah and that's without even anything you know any overload gear or anything else so she's really damn good for burst three we have a2 guillotine sugar and yulha which pretty much how i said with sugar you know she does uh she gives herself a very large ammo up and also she shoots like a mad woman with yulha she goes ahead and teams up with snow white there and provides a massive critical to snow white guillotine you know with more hp down she goes ahead and does even more damage a2, she powers herself up. She powers herself up, and also she has a massive attack speed and, a, and an explosion radius as well. So that's it for um, A there. Let me move on to B here, which actually we have Cocoa, Pepper, and N102, which obviously I already told you with N102. She's a very good um, uh, buffing unit, attacking buff up unit. For Cocoa, her claim to fame there would be, depending on who a boss it is, it would actually be removing the debuffs on everybody else. Um, for uh, for also for B there obviously as well with A there's Aid Add Me um, Aria Bay Senti Diesel Folk Wang Miracle Annie Noah Quincy and Rupee. So yeah, I already told you earlier. You know each one of these have their own little special things there. That for B you know depending on what boss you're facing, you know you might want to have the Aid there. For example, maybe um, Ultra. And there's a few other units of other bosses too. Other ones you might not want Aid. So it really depends on what boss you're facing. You're going to want to put some of these units there and some of them you do not want them on the team uh for for the burst three here for b you're looking at drake a small white laplace maiden neve and power for the for b ranking there um let me keep going down here uh yeah we see a uh, jackal ludmilla milk neon ram soda uh chris's rupee and yan and then for uh for the burst two here we have anise makima nero nihilister sin viper red hood which i already told you you know for for unfortunately for red hood um, yeah, her burst two just isn't the best, you know, because there's other way better burst twos in the game compared to Red Hood's there. And for burst three, we have a summer a neon, we have summer neon D, Epinel, Haran, Isabel, Kilo, Query, Soline, and rounding it off is Vesti there. Okay, let me just go um, next to the next one here, which looking at D, we're looking at um, Anchor, Emma, Ether, Exia, uh, Freema, Mary, Mika, Pascal, and then we do have Re and Rosanna rounding out. Browning at the bottom here, which Rosanna, she's mostly used for PvP. Yeah, since unfortunately a lot of her kit is um very like defensive, not being hit. Even though she does have a lot of attack up to herself, it just it's not like the best thing, unfortunately, there. And then for burst two, there we have you know Belorta, Delta, Enwa, Himeno, Signal, and Uni. And then for burst three, we have Brid, Crow, Julia, um, Julia, Mahara, and Rappy. And then rounding off E is obviously all the R units there. So yeah, that's pretty much for the tier list here. Yeah, I did not expect this video to go so long. I do apologize about that. I just want to go ahead and just, you know, just um, try to give you a reasoning of why everybody was where they're at since not everybody has every unit. Not everybody knows how some of these units work with other units as well, or maybe even know how they work at all. So I try to give you a little quick synopsis uh, about some of these units and why they might be placed where there is. But of course, guys, you know, do not take this as fact, you know, since some of these you can always mix and match and do all this other stuff. 
Not only that as well, you know, new team comps get started and, you know, some some get dropped and all that stuff. So just please keep that in mind. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I know this was a lot of information, but hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you did, please give me a like and a sub. I would really appreciate it. All right, I'm Scrublord, and I'll see you in the next video.